So my bridge friends are coming over for a game of bridge. And I thought, you know, instead of the usual snacks, I'm going to make something special. So I've got a grill going, I've got hot coals, cool cocktail, and I'm going to make sliders, which are baby burgers. So it's two pounds of ground beef. I use really premium beef. I like grass-fed beef. Three tablespoons of olive oil. That keeps it nice and moist. This is really easy to make. And some good spicy mustard, Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon. A tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to chop it really fine. So that's three cloves of garlic. So sliders are great. They're small hamburgers. I'm going to do them on brioche rolls and have lots of things to put on top, like tomatoes sliced, little thin slices of onion. Everybody can assemble their own. Okay, one tablespoon of garlic, finely minced, right into the mixture. Some fresh thyme, about a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves. Just peel them right off the stems. Beef is such a strongly flavored thing. You want to flavor it, but you don't want it to go pow. You want layered flavors, a little bit of mustard, a little thyme. Just give it a chop. Really releases the oils in it and distributes it through the meat. Okay, teaspoon of fresh thyme, two teaspoons of salt, teaspoon of pepper. Give it a big stir with a fork. Fork's really important. You don't want to compact the meat, you want to keep it really nice and light. There are two big mistakes of hamburgers. One is compacting it when you're actually forming the burger, and the second one is pressing it when it's on the grill. Gets rid of all the nice juices into the grill. You want to keep these moist and light and delicious. Okay, time to make the burgers. So this mixture is going to make, we normally make six burgers, but I'm going to make 12 sliders. And so they're approximately two inches wide by one inch thick, and they're going to go in little brioche rolls. Perfect. Roll it around. Don't press it while you're rolling around, and then just shape it into a hamburger. I'll have the sliders all ready to grill. I'm gonna make the toppings next and some confetti corn. It's so delicious. And the good news is, I don't even have to make dessert. Jack's getting all the components and all I have to do is assemble it. Okay, now the rest of the ingredients. I've got red onion, all chopped up. I'm gonna saute that with a little olive oil first. I've got chopped orange pepper. It's gonna go in the corn. Next is fresh herbs. I've got about two tablespoons, and it's a combination of chives, basil, and parsley. Okay, so that's it for the corn. Next for the sliders. I've got all kinds of great toppings. First, I've got Gruyere cheese. Big pile of Gruyere cheese. Next, I've got all kinds of colorful tomatoes, and everybody can help themselves. Everybody wants to build their own hamburger, don't they? So I've got red tomatoes, yellow ones. It just looks great if you can get different colored tomatoes. And orange tomatoes. And of course, red onion. For those few people who like red onion on their hamburgers, not me. Okay. Next thing I've got is some fresh arugula. I love this, it's nice and peppery. So it's gonna go in with the sliders, little brioche roll, all kinds of toppings. These are gonna be delicious. And I'm all set to go outside and start grilling. My friends are here to play bridge, and I thought, instead of the usual chips and dip, I'm gonna make sliders, which are little hamburgers on brioche rolls. This is gonna be so good with the confetti corn and the cucumber salad. Mm. Okay, who wants cheese on top? Who doesn't? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So a little bit of grated Gruyere on each one. It's good and smoky. <laughs> What's a barbecue without a fire? I'm gonna put the lid on for 60 seconds top. So it's gonna be all nice and melted. And perfect for the buns with arugula. Mm. Hamburgers are perfectly cooked. Fabulous. Now that's a perfect slider.